club. What is an impresario? I thought you were going to say it was an audience club. <laughs> <laughs> they were going to say, have you done your research yeah. into your character? No. What is an impresario? What is, that's what you are, and that's what you make all your money at, and you know, you're brilliant at it. And lose you're, all your money at. I was going to say, thank you, well, thank you for that one. What is, an, yeah. what is a modern day impresario? He's the guy who says, who goes to bed one night and says, hey, listen, I really fancy doing Alan Owens, No Tramps to Lime Street, on the stage. And <laughs> well, no, it's, it's a, plug a good in. plug. <laughs> and then he phones up Marty Wilde and Ronnie Scott, right. and he says, listen, do you fancy writing the songs? And so then, you're the fixer? That's a horrible Producer. way of putting it, Richard. No, 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 no. The guy who gets every... I mean, yeah, I am the guy so. who, who is totally responsible right. if it's a disaster and has nothing to do with it if it's a hit, according to everyone else. <laughs> I'm the guy who gets the money together, gets the design of the play, the script. The so what's the difference between that and a producer, then? Cause that's no, I'm a producer. Yes, he's that's sort of it. executive producer. Yeah. No, I'm a producer, producer, producer. producer. I'm just an executive producer at Liverpool Playhouse because right. Liverpool Playhouse is a subsidised rep. Right. right. And subsidised and commercial don't normally mix. Right. right. But Liverpool Playhouse and the Thorndike Theatre Leatherhead had dodgy financial times four years ago. Mm -hmm. And Maggie Thatcher's ethos then was commercial uh, should, should mix with, mm -hmm. the, uh, with the private sector. And, um, and they asked me to come <laughs> along and, and oversee. So and I'm an executive producer overseeing what right. goes on at... In my office in London, I'm a producer. Producer, right. you're, right. you're very um, hungry to do that in your early twenties when you left the street. You you were you put together a production in Buxton, didn't you? I wasn't, you, you know. Well, I, I really wasn't. You were. I, I did put, but the, 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 I was never hungry to be a producer. Oh, right. I was hungry to play Billy Liar. Yeah. And what had happened was I'd got three weeks' holiday from the street to play it at Oldham. Yeah. And uh, they double booked, but they'd made a mistake, and I don't take holidays, so. Mm. A friend of mine, Nigel Humphreys, and I were sitting in a wimpy, wimpy bar, do you remember that? Yes. Yeah. Wimpy bar in, in Leicester Square, and we said, let's do it ourselves. Like mm. Mickey and Judy. We, yeah. hi we hired a theatre in Buxton in Derbyshire, yeah. and we put it on, just so that I could play Billy Liar. And mm. here we are, 25 years, years later, I don't act anymore. And, uh, and you, had, you, you had Julie Goodyear playing opposite you. Julie Goodyear played Rita, who's yeah. the one who says, uh, hey, Billy, give me that cow in iron lung for your grandmother. Yeah. And they saw her in that. And, the rest oh. is but you're one of these you're one of these people um, who breaks the golden rule because you do invest your own money like didn't you put in nearly a million pounds into a production in America of your own money a lot more a lot more, a lot than that. more. why yeah, do you, I mean why don't you use other people's money which is the usual way a, to do it. a I would hate to lose other people's money right uh, B I, I wouldn't have time to lick the stamps on the <laughs> backers reports because I've got so many shows on yeah. but I couldn't do it I, I would never know how to raise money what do you do mm. Richard do, do I phone you and say listen we had a lovely meeting last week uh, yeah. at Granada do you fancy putting a few bob into my show. I couldn't do it. I wouldn't know how to do it. Mm. Plus, if, it, if the show didn't... I've done it once. I did, it, I did a production of The Big Knife with Martin Shaw that we all had high hopes for. Mm. And I got some backers in. Mm. And I went to see it on its tryout. And it wasn't very good. And Martin agreed it wasn't very good. So I sent them all the money back. I said, listen, you don't want to be oh, involved in this. And uh, It's terrible. I mean, I'm not a great <laughs> money person. I'm not mad about money. And... Uh, We've been told. You didn't believe me then, did no, you? No, 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 no. I can tell you. Know. Glazed, I mean, no. Got, no, no. I, it's just that we've been told you've got to catch a train, and I've got the got master builder opening tonight in London with Alan in London. Bates. London. Oh right. That's that's theater. yours as well, is it? The master yeah. builder. Yeah. So I'm dashing back to. And uh, no trams to Lime Street up here, which is is good. No trams to Lime Street previewed last night. Promise you, impresarios, producers yeah. always exaggerate. I never do. They were standing for the last <laughs> five minutes, clapping, screaming. Right. It's going to be Liverpool's next Blood Brothers. I'm really and the cast. Can I say wherever? you are because I think they're watching yeah. they were phenomenal last night the cast the crew the band and it's press night on Monday night I can see why you're so successful you're just so enthusiastic you just pass it all over but yeah. listen I, I could and we're big fans of yours in Coronation Street oh, thank you. they sit there yeah. they'll have it on now yeah. uh, in the green room and they watch you they will they really really will <laughs> Gosh. Uh, we love them too. We're yeah, huge we fans do. of Coronation Street. Clues. Bill, we've got to let you go. Thank you. Yeah, you've got to get a train. That's the only reason we're letting you go now. Train, otherwise we're right. speak to you all day. So give us two seconds to move on to the next item and then you can run, okay? <laughs> nice to see you. Good luck Thank with you the, very much. Good luck really with the master. Right, you saw them at the head of the programme. Now it's time.